But I always found with working with Lori is that he's always optimistic. He always says, oh, well, it'll, you know, this will blow over. It'll be fine. And he's generally right. So it gets you a little, it helps you maintain a little bit of objectivity and don't get too emotionally uh, overwrought by the complexities, the human drama, as Lori calls it. The design is easy. It's the psychodrama of the, product, of the projects that are the difficult parts of it. So I think that sort of positive attitude has really uh, saved my sanity on many occasions when I thought I was just, you know, going to jump out the window or so I just couldn't take it anymore. And he's an extraordinarily productive person. You know, he writes, he lectures, he teaches, he practices, enjoys red wine, lots of things. Even plants. That's right. Also. And when he works, he's really, I think he also taught us a way to really focus on our work and the only way that you can develop your craft is to actually do it and to, to work hard at it and to, to think about it every moment you're doing it. I think a lot of what we do is about collaboration. It's about d developing landscape from relationships that we develop within ourselves in the studio, within uh, the community that we're working within. And part of the, the key to making good landscapes is really getting inside the, the head of the people that you're working uh, for and working with because that somehow is how you can engage the culture of a particular place. It's not about imposing something on them, but it's about growing. It's about giving form to their aspirations. And that really is a key, I think, to what uh, we enjoy doing, what we get energy from. Something that Laurie has always felt very strongly about were these teaching opportunities. Uh, it's what the studio was born out of. He and Bob came here originally to teach, and he likes to say that the studio happened by accident. But <laughs> um, I think that legacy has, has been handed to all of us to build on and share our knowledge that we've learned with new folks coming in and other, and other collaborators, but also having those teaching moments from others and learning from other people and being open to those experiences and I think Laurie has always felt very strongly and I'm grateful that he's fostered a culture that has built us to, to that point. For me I, it's just been an enormous honor to spend a lot of my life working around and with Laurie and I'm really honored to be leading the firm. Um, to be trusted to be leading the firm. Uh, it's not easy, but I'm truly honored. We were talking, Cindy and I, about the mentoring thing, and it usually happens in three ways. It's either in the studio, or you're with Lori with a client, and you watch how he deals with the client and how he listens. But the other one, and she, it's, it travels with Lori. We all have travel stories, you know. It's, it's, Wine spilled at 30,000 feet, exploding Mont Blanc pens, you know, at 30,000 feet, uh, you know, watercolors at 30,000 feet. Um, you know, it's so travels with Lori to me are one of those things. It's just been a lot of fun. So. That's probably a, a key observation. And Lori doesn't separate his professional life with his life. and his personal life. They are one and the same, and it's fun. And I think those folks who are partners absolutely are people who embrace that. Um, when we travel, we don't stop looking, we don't stop loving, we don't stop enjoying. And um, it's really a gift that he has given us, I think.